was a little girl, I was driving in the car with my parents and I looked out my window and saw a big building that was emitting huge clouds of smoke. And I asked my parents, what is that? And they told me it was a factory. So I thought, hmm, if it's a factory, then it must make clouds. So ever since then, I have known it as the Cloud Factory. My name is Marisol, and I like to volunteer in the neighborhood because growing up in this neighborhood, I saw a lot of injustice. This all started when I was a freshman in high school. And it started through my mom because my mom was invited to come to a leadership training at the Little Village Environmental Justice Organization. And she brought me along. And one of the first things we did during that leadership um, training was to take a toxic tour. I thought I already knew my community. I knew all the great things about it. I just didn't know all the bad things. So at the toxic tour, I discovered that there are various chemicals that come out of the coal power plant, like nitrous oxide, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and I'm thinking here like, oh my God, I read this every day. My proximity to the coal power plant is about five blocks away from it. There are people who live half a block away from it. There are people who can see mountains of coal from their backyard. And all this has very, very heavy health implications upon people. Asthma is number one. Second is premature birth. There are some babies that are born and they have birth defects. And I ask myself, why is it so high? And I have the answer in front of me. A coal power plant, and I have to see it every day. It would be nice for once to wake up and look out my window and see a clear sky. I was really, really angry. I, I wanted to do something. So in about 2007, I came up with an idea of using visuals. So I started thinking, well, Google Maps. So we're using Google Maps to educate people in the community and outside of the community to let them know our industry sites. This is a tool for organizing and for you to tell people that, you know, hey, this is happening. Let's do something about it. I can basically just put any video or any media onto the map and show people all over the nation what's going on in Little Village. Look, here's a coal power plant. What's going on in your community? And kind of network and see how we can help each other or how we can create some kind of coalition. Youth these days are always on MySpace, are on Facebook, are on YouTube. That's our way of communicating now. We have right here Crawford Coal Power Plant. And then we also have the Celotex site, which is where we want to get a park built. Um, the only problem with that is that the site is contaminated. Kids like playing outside, they like playing with the dirt. They will be exposed to those contaminants. So it's a continuous struggle. We're working there and hopefully we will have a safe and clean park. This is a girl with a mission and she's not gonna let anything get in her way. So she's determined, completely determined to, to make change in this community. Sometimes it can be hard because when you talk about environmental justice, some people immediately think, oh, she's a tree hugger. And I've gotten that before, and I'm just like, okay, can you let me explain before you judge me? Like, this is actually affecting you. The United States emits a lot of pollution and has a high rate of asthma. In terms of the state, Illinois is one of the highest. In terms of the city, Chicago. In terms of neighborhood, Hilton and Little Village. It is important for youth to be concerned about the environment because as each day progresses, there is more pollution and there are more problems arising. And if we don't do anything about it, then it's just gonna get much worse. When I tell someone what's going on and share my knowledge, it's powerful to see that transition in that person and realize, oh my God, this is actually happening. I wanna do something about it. That's, that's really powerful because I feel satisfied. I feel like I have changed someone and that someone will do something about it and share that knowledge and it'll, it'll be like a ripple effect. It'll just keep going.